Hello there, Lisa T here. How are you today? I uh, I just made a uh, this video about my CD collection, and right after that, some really awesome VC and VCLT and CDLCLT arrived from the wonderful DJ Chankla. So I just wanted to. I'm just going to redo this so that I can include the Nat King Cole CDs in uh, in with the uh, other CDs that I would like to show you. Um, I think several of us here in the vinyl community also listen to CDs. And uh, Groovy Lisa inspired me. She made a video talking about her love of CDs and also books and is uh, planning to incorporate more of that into her channel. And... Uh, then my dear friend Prog Hat, uh, dear friend to many of us here in the vital community, he's just wonderful. Uh, he um, also did a video about uh, his CD collection, and he plans to make it a regular feature on his channel. So, uh, you know, uh, Glenn Calloway has shown CDs, um, Vinyl Dale, um, and then, of course, Steve Schnee, the CD junkie, you know. So, I think that, uh, you know, it's okay for us to talk about our love of music and uh, enjoying music on uh, mediums other than just vinyl. Um, Prog Hat, uh, I will put a link to his CD video, uh, but also he did an interview with uh, Rachel the Music Ma'am, the Prog Hat story. And I will include a link to that uh, in the description of this video as well. So I'd like for you to go show Prog Hat some love and support. Now, uh, so some of the other things that I enjoy that I guess would be considered uh, media. Uh, board games. Love board games. And anything having to do with spelling like Scrabble or words or wordplay and uh, is my favorite and then I love trivia now I've got several of these of trivial pursuits you know various uh, offerings over the years <laughs> but uh, this one's my favorite the Millennium box I think that's kind of neat um, I also I love books uh, I love cookbooks I've got about 250 of them and I know I can get recipes anytime I want online, but there's just something really special about a cookbook and having it in the kitchen with you while you're cooking. This one is uh, new. I just got it in the mail about a week and a half ago. I love her YouTube channel, and that's why I wanted to show it to you. And I'll put a link to uh, her channel, Hot Thai Kitchen, uh, in the description as well. Uh, or you can just search for Hot Thai, Hot Thai Kitchen. She's She's amazing. Every recipe I've tried of hers has been outstanding. And uh, it's great if you love spicy food. And even if you don't, you can always just leave the peppers out. <laughs> so I also like uh, autobiographies. Some biographies, but mostly I like autobiographies because I like to hear the musicians' stories. That's more what I'm going for. And uh, this is Carol Kay, studio musician. And, of course, you know I'm a big Carol Kay fan. Uh, I ordered it from her website, and I requested an autograph, which she so graciously gave. It says, To Lisa, all good vibes, Carol Kay. She's amazing. Just amazing. One of these days I have to do a whole video about her. Okay, so... I love a really good uh, kind of dark crime, noir type, pulp fiction type book. I love Elmore Leonard and Jim Thompson. And several of Jim Thompson's books have been made uh, into movies. Uh, probably my favorite uh, would be The Grifters. And, uh, you know, but this is nothing but a man. And uh, this one was on top because I, I just read this one recently. But all of the books I have of his, uh, they're not really collectible because um, 
I bought them all at sales. I mean, this this has like two. Look at this. Two for 25 cents. Two for 25 cents. I got this when I was about 20, I guess. Man. Great little book. I've read it several times. And they're not they're not too thick. You can read it in an afternoon, you know? I also, as far as music goes, uh, I listen to music not just on vinyl and CDs, but also cassette tapes. And this is just a stack that I grabbed just so I could have something to show you. And of course, a blank cassette so that I can make a make a mixtape. Remember mixtapes? They're still so fun. So I wanted to show you the CDs that I am um, <clears throat> that I listen to the most these days, and some of them will probably not surprise you, and some of them will. <laughs> First one, if you've seen my uh, Record Store Day Black Friday video, you know that I love Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, so it will not surprise you that I've been playing the heck out of this. I've had it for years, and it's it's been uh, in pretty heavy rotation ever since. And uh, it's I Learned the Hard Way, and it's a beautiful, amazing accomplishment. It's a, I love it. Great rec Great CD. This is Nora Jones, um, also featured on my Record Store Day Black Friday video. Uh, these are collaborations that she's done with, uh, you know, several artists, including the Foo Fighters. It's amazing. It's just really great. Uh, she's actually been, uh, she's been so amazing through this whole pandemic with all of her at-home concerts and all of her tiny desk at home concerts and She's just great, so talented, and she has a beautiful piano that is not, um, it's not overly showy. I mean, you could tell that that is the piano that she bought way back when, and that it's her piano, so she's keeping it. And I love that, because that's how I feel about things, too, you know? Okay, so, uh, I worshipped <laughs> Joan Jett when I was a teenager, and so I still love her. I just watched a documentary um, about her on Amazon Prime. It was so good. I recommend you looking it up. Uh, but this is just a greatest hit CD um, from Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. But I love it. It's just amazing. Love Led Zeppelin. This is the only thing of theirs that I have on CD, though. So if I feel like listening to Led Zeppelin in the car, and which a lot of times, you know, I, I travel uh, to Nashville quite a bit. It's about five hours away from me to go see my friend Colleen. And uh, so this usually gets grabbed and put in the car with me. And you know, I love talking heads. And uh, I love Jerry Harrison. They're guitarist and keyboardist. Very underrated guitarist and keyboardist, in my opinion. He did have several... Um, several solo CDs and our, our albums, I should say. Uh, this one's my favorite, Casual Gods. Um, it sounds it sounds a little dated. It sounds very 80s. And uh, some people would say it didn't age well, but I, I love it. I, it doesn't bother me at all that it sounds 80s. I don't, I like the 80s. So uh, my, the, Rev It Up and Man With A Gun are the two songs that most people have, will, will recognize if they hear them. Um, my, my favorite songs, uh, on the album are, um, Breakdown in the Passing Lane, um, a Song of Angels. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of the name of the other, um, A Perfect Lie. I don't know why I can never remember the name of that song. Okay, so Jerry Harrison is also a producer. And uh, I was surprised to find out that he produced some of my favorite albums. I didn't even know until after I already had the album and had been enjoying it. And one of them is Live Throwing Copper. This, to me, is almost a perfect, uh, perfect album from start to finish. And I don't, I'm not in, uh, into really, you know, heavy rock, but... Uh, it's one of my favorite, favorite albums. Jerry Harrison also produced Crash Test Dummies, God Shuffled His Feet. This is another great album. 
it's well you know what though it's a it's a little front loaded it's um i i like tracks like one through eight and then it just kind of good for me <laughs> but so I, I pretty much listen to tracks one through eight sometimes i'll listen to the whole thing but normally after track eight i just sort of pop it out and that's that uh so now um if you remember MTV, uh, back in the 80s, they started a series that first aired on Sunday nights with J.J. Jackson called 120 Minutes, and it featured the kind of music I was into in the 80s. I was uh, born in 67. I turned 18 in, in uh, 85, and uh, so my, my thing is more like the, for that era is the... Uh, punk to post-punk to new wave kind of stuff uh more alternative stuff and uh well this cd just has a little bit of everything on it it's a great road cd it's got killing moon on it from echo and the bunny man you know it's it's got new order it's got depeche mode sugar cubes member uh bjork's uh band um I first, around that time in the early 80s, got into R.E.M. And I love this album, Reckoning. I think Murmur was their debut. Maybe it wasn't. I think Murmur might have been their debut. But this, this is the one that I really, this is the one that's my favorite. And, uh, you know, I love Pretty Persuasion, Seven Chinese Brothers, um, time after time. I mean, really, honestly, from start to finish, this is just a great CD. So I listened to that quite a bit. And, of course, they became a little more pop later, uh, which I never begrudged them for. I mean, that's, you know, nothing wrong with pop music. Uh, so Automatic for the People, you know, was really successful. Has a drive, the Sidewinder Sleeps Tonight, uh, Everybody Hurts. That was That was a really popular video on MTV, too. Uh, my favorite songs on the album are uh, Ignore Land and Monty Got a Raw Deal and Night Swimming. And I also, in the 80s, got into Kate Bush. I love her. Um, I mostly listen to her on vinyl or on Spotify. But I listen to this album, The Sensual World, almost exclusively on CD. And the reason is that... Um, this song, Walk Straight Down the Middle, if you can try to see it, there's a little bit of a glare. Uh, I think it's too much of a glare. Anyway, it is only available on this CD. You cannot get it on Spotify. It is not on the LP. And this album is a great, it's like, it's a concept album. You, you want to hear it, or I want to hear it from start to finish. I very seldom just want to hear this random let me just hear this one Kate Bush song from the sensual world. I usually, it's like any of the songs on the ninth wave, which is the B side of Hounds of Love. If I'm going to listen to one of them, I want to listen to the whole thing. <laughs> so that's kind of how I am with, uh, with a lot of her music. Actually, she is very much an album artist and, uh, she's a, she's a master of, uh, putting together, you know, a uh, concept album and uh so this is just really great and uh you can look up walk straight down the middle if you're a kate bush fan and you've never had the chance to hear that song because maybe you don't have this on cd walk straight down the middle it's on youtube i also got into the smiths and morrissey and of course i love all the smiths albums and i love morrissey's viva hate but i really like this uh cd a lot and i play this a whole lot as well uh, this is Voxel and I. Um, you know, this is a really weird... Uh, it starts out very hopeful, uh, now my heart is full. But there's lots of ups and downs in this CD, you know, or in this album, I should say. Um, where, you know, he can be really cynical and uh, petulant at times. Uh, but also very hopeful. Um, my favorite songs, uh, Why Don't You Find Out For Yourself... A scathing, uh, scathing uh, take on um, the record industry. 
and uh, I also like Lifeguard Sleeping, Girl Drowning, Speedway, Lazy Sunbathers. I mean, really, the whole the whole album is really good. So I've been listening to that a lot lately, and started listening to this again, Jane's Addiction. I had actually kind of forgotten how much I love them. Somebody did um, a video about their uh, like shocking album covers recently, and uh, you know, yeah, this could have easily been on it. I mean, their hair is on fire. They're nude. You can see a little bit of <laughs> you can see a little bit of bush there. <laughs> hmm. Now, these ones I want to show you some things that can happen with with CDs. That one of the downsides of CDs is the jewel cases. Okay, so this. Actually, I was going to, you know, I was on my way down here to the basement to make this video. And I dropped this. It completely shattered. I had to sweep it all up and throw it away because I have pets. And I can't have them, you know, getting hurt. So, big bummer. But, uh, I like Madonna. Uh, don't, don't love her. Not a huge fan. Uh, but I do have two CDs of hers. Uh, that I really like a lot, and that is Erotica and Ray of Light. And my favorite songs on Ray of Light are Skin, Nothing Really Matters, and The Power of Goodbye. Another thing that can happen uh, if you shop at used record stores, bookstores, like I do, sometimes there's no cover. And also, The Crack. Now, the crack happened because I sat my fat ass on top of this CD while I was sitting on my bed. Anyway, so this is Chris Isaac, Forever Blue. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't appreciate all of Chris Isaac's music, but I really like this CD. It is a breakup CD. Um, it is a CD, every single song about him being heartbroken and left. Um, by somebody that he apparently loved very much. He has a, a sad come back to me letter <laughs> on the inside. He just totally put his heart out there with this. And it, it really paid off. It's just a great CD. And none of the songs are too long. They're all just the perfect length. Love it. Great CD. Okay. Nina Simone. I absolutely adore um she has a tremendous amount of i mean her talent is just uh, in delivery and in only the way she can she um it, she was so talented but she would also you know there's stories of her getting up on stage and just taking the gum out of her mouth and sticking it to the piano <laughs> before performing and then putting the gum back in her mouth when she was done. So she wasn't highfalutin. She just had the goods. That's all there was. I have most of my Nina Simone is on vinyl. Um, this is the only CD I have. Uh, this is the essential Nina Simone. And a lot of my CDs do tend to be greatest hits type things because I get them to play in the car. You know, usually if I want to hear a whole album, uh, unless there is a special song that I have to get the CD, I will usually get it on vinyl. Um, but uh, this is a really great CD. Uh, I highly recommend it. And it also has a split in it, but that split was already there when I bought it. I need to buy some more jewel cases. Now, some of these Time Life compilations are really great. Um, I have several of these, but I just wanted to show you this one because it's my favorite. Uh, it is uh, Living the Blues, 1965 to 1969. Uh, this has Lowell Folsom's uh, rendition of Tramp, which I love that song, but his is just the best. I love it. Um, I'm also a big fan of Junior Wells, um, and he, his song, Messing with the Kid, um, there's a few different versions of it out there, um, that he, I don't know how many times he recorded that song, but it was probably, it was one of his more popular songs. Um, but the best, uh, 
the best version of it to me is on this CD. It has the best, uh, uh, they do the best job of featuring his harmonica performance. So I, I really like the way they mixed it for this. And uh, this also has B.B. Uh, King, Why I Sing the Blues is on here. Um, Big Mama Thornton, Ball and Chain. I mean, there's just all kinds of, there's John Lee Hooker, there's Albert Collins, Slim Harpo, you know, Albert King, there's um, Elmore James. I mean, you just, you name it. It goes on and on. Just, and, um, and many more. I mean, it's like a, it's a whole set. You know, now that the, the internet is a little better, you know, I, when I first, when I first found this, um, it was, I think the early 2000s or late 90s. And you couldn't find things as easily online as you can now. So I need, I need to now look that up and try to complete that set. Now this one, I just recently rediscovered. Um, I bought it and I never played it. And uh, so I finally played it about a week ago and I really like it and I hope to play it even more. I'm gonna be going down to Nashville um, again on December 11th. Uh, Colleen is having her final uh, surgery of four surgeries that she has, that she, uh, had scheduled for the last year if you can believe it man talk about a trooper you know I'm so in awe of her she's amazing but anyway um, I'm gonna definitely take this with me so I can listen to it in the car on the way down but uh, this has uh, Willie Dixon and with Memphis Slim there's little brother Montgomery um, he's you know just old old blues artist uh, we've got Tom Rush and uh, Reverend Gary Davis. I mean, it's just a Sunnyland Slim. Just a really good, I mean, somebody did a fantastic job curating this. And it comes with a, it came with a little neat booklet. If I can pull it out here. Yeah. It has little little by bi uh, little biographies of all of the artists that appear. It's just really neat. So yeah, bought it at Starbucks. You know who knew? So looking forward to hearing that more. And now I want to get to the most special of all to me right now, because DJ Chankla it was so generous and so thoughtful. So. Uh, I mean, I'll tell the story again, just in case you, you haven't watched, you know, the other videos. But uh, my grandfather loved Nat King Cole with all of his heart. And I uh, have decided that in honor of him, in, in his memory, I would like to go ahead and collect um, as much Nat King Cole on vinyl as I can. Uh, the original goal was to try to collect all of the 12 inch albums. Um, you know, that just may not be possible. And, uh, I, rather than try to be a completionist, I'm just going to try to collect as much as I can in whatever form that I can get it. CDs, uh, you know, albums, oh, you know, 12 inch, 45, whatever, um, so I did not go into detail about these CDs in my thank you video that I made because I wanted to make this video and uh, really show them to you because they're very special. So first one he sent, you know, is uh, Nat King Cole's, you know, Greatest Hits. And it has his, his original, you know, his original version of unforgettable and then we also have you know get your kicks on route 66 uh orange colored sky mona lisa which i love that song uh walking my baby back home straighten up and fly right send for me looking back you call it madness but i call it love if you know what if you call it madness it's probably really madness 
pro tip. Take my advice. Love is not madness. That's something else. Boring is good, folks. Just remember that. Boring is good. Okay, back to what I'm supposed to be talking about here. Okay, I love you for sentimental reasons. Nature Boy, Ramblin' Rose, Pretend, Too Young, Somewhere Along the Way, Those Lazy, Hazy, Crazy Days of Summer. I love that song. When I was a kid, I loved that song so much. Oh, my goodness. My grandmother taught me a little dance, and I remember dancing to this song. I would demonstrate it to you, but I'd probably throw my back out. <laughs> oh, smile. This one's in French. I don't want to butcher it. Darling, je vous un beaucoup. I don't know how I did. Answer me, my love. A blossom fell, if I may, and unforgettable duet with Natalie Cole who, you know, is also no longer with us, unfortunately. Now, this one I am very much looking forward to hearing. Um, and what I really like about it is it's like the start of another, you know, something to collect. It is Nat King Cole, The Trio Recordings, Volume 4. So that excites me that now I have, it, it's like getting another, another uh, collection going. So, uh, looking forward to that. This, this will make you laugh. Do nothing till you hear from me, the old music master, after you've gone. I love to make love to you, Candy, a trio grooves in Brooklyn. <laughs> I love that. Instead of a tree grows in Brooklyn, a trio grooves in Brooklyn. Oh my goodness. Love it. Love it. If you can't smile and say yes, please don't cry and say no. A pile of coal ain't misbehaving. When we're, when we're alone, penthouse serenade. <laughs> well, that sounds romantic, doesn't it? I can't give you anything but love, and Rosetta has guest vocalist Anita O'Day. The personnel is Nat King Cole on piano and vocals, Oscar Moore on guitar and vocals, and Johnny Miller on bass and vocals. So nice. Thank you again, DJ Chankla, for that. So... Those are all of the CDs that I have been listening to and a few of the CDs that I'm going to be listening to. And, uh, oh, oh, and then something funny. This is for Prague Hat and Eddie Perez. We were talking shit about Rod Stewart remaking <laughs> the American Songbook. We were like, no, no, you know. Not for you. <laughs> Not for you, Rod Stewart. Although there, my, uh, my mother actually gave this to me for Christmas because she knows I like Rod Stewart. And uh, there are a couple of songs on here that he does a really good job on. But I, I do agree. I, I'm more of a fan of Rod Stewart, uh, rock and roll Rod Stewart, and even disco Rod Stewart, especially disco Rod, Rod Stewart. I loved Do You Think I'm Sexy? Loved it. But this is a little weird, but he does do a good job on um, Sunny Side. <laughs> of course, my phone started ringing. Uh, I was saying that uh, Rod Stewart does a pretty good job on uh, Sunny Side of the Street. Uh, Ain't Misbehaving is bad bad um cheek to cheek he does pretty good and of course my favorite version of cheek to cheek um is uh eva cassidy but anyway i just thought they'd get a kick out of the fact that i actually own this but anyway so that uh concludes the uh cd video uh it was a little longer than i wanted it to be uh if you're still if you're still with me um, bless you. <laughs> I love all of you. And, uh, once again, I thank you for your support. Uh, please check out, um, 
the video uh, that of uh, me and Glenn Calloway did uh, Base to Base, our first episode. It's going to be a series, uh, hopefully a weekly series. We're going to do it as often as we can uh, about our love of the base. And uh, please also check out the uh, my thank you uh, video for to uh, DJ Chankla so that you can see also the uh, Nat King Cole album that he sent. Um, I thank you so much. I love everybody from the bottom of my heart. Mwah.